Hello and welcome to today's instalment of Crucible Gold. Wherever you're watching in the world, we hope you're safe, well and wrapped up warm. Today we're going to focus on the King of the Crucible, Stephen Hendry, because apart from the seven world titles, he was an absolute animal when it came to 147s, 11 in his career in all, three of them coming at the Cruce. The first in 1995 in the semi-final against his old adversary, the whirlwind, Jimmy White. White. Right. That isn't the best of breaks from Jimmy, and I'm certain Stephen will take this on and go all out, all for the black. One. Into the red now. Well, uh, another great shot, 24. splitting the pack, knowing he would have this red to the right corner. Jimmy White with a lot to think about. Thirty-two. Little unfortunate there for Stephen, hampered by the pink. Well, Four one eight. good shot here now. He'll be forcing this in, spreading the reds, and should finish on the black into the left corner. I am certain now we will not see Stephen Henry take any other colour other than the black. There's a £147,000 bonus 48. for a 147 maximum break. Henry has taken six red, six blacks. 49. Yes, and just the one red at the bulk end of the table. That's certainly going to be a problem. But of course, every shot has to be played to perfection to keep coming down for the black. Fifty. 
57. Only two maximums ever made at the Crucible. Cliff Thorburn, 1983. Jimmy White, two years ago. Sixty-five. This time there's two reds available into that right corner. Seventy-two. Seventy-three. And now even Jimmy White will be willing Stephen on to get this maximum. The frame already gone. 70. Well, he has the red in the center. Eight. As I said before, the best center pocket player I've seen. This, of course, is when it starts to get difficult because you've only a couple of reds and you have to get perfect position on them. I still feel the awkward one is going to be that one towards the bulk end of the table. And that's perfect. He'll take the more difficult one, I think, of the two. If he 96. Well, obviously, too straight. And this is where position has to be precise. <laughs> now these next two shots are the crucial ones. I certainly get on the back here, but it's been able to get on that red down near the ball can in a, such a way as he can get back here for the black. So this could be the shot of the tournament. I think he's got a little straighter on the black than he would have liked. He's got a chance. Well, I certainly fancy him now to get the blank. But the unfortunate part is he's put the pink and blue in an awkward situation. So he'll be off the side cushion, right hand side. Come for the black into the right corner. So now it seems just the blue and pink is only problem. But I promise you, these next six pots, there's more pressure and it will build and build with each shot he takes.
Well, that's the worst shot he's played throughout the break. Didn't really get high enough. He could try and split them, but he's such a good long potter. I think it'll be a long blue into one of the corner pockets. Needed to run a little. So now blue into the yellow pocket. And if he gets this, he will be pushing the pink toward the center pocket. Well, the blue's there. Great chance now. Yes, and listen for the roar if this pink and black goes in. Slow down. Well, this would be a pressure shot to win a frame, but for a 147, I promise you. The pressure has got to be the greatest ever. Yeah. He's done it! <laughs> Stephen Hendry makes the third 147 maximum in crucible history and takes a bonus of £147,000. Well, that moment of magic helped Stephen Hendry get across the line against Jimmy, and he then thrashed Nigel Bond 18 9 in the final. His fans had to wait 14 years for his next maximum moment at the Crucible, and it came in a quarter final against the magician, Sean Murphy. the one thing that has been more noticeable than anything else his long pot success has been really really good well there you go 90 percent it's not been that for a long time Awkward bridging, but he's only got to dab the red in. Nine. Would have been a different proposition if he had to struggle in any way for position. Sixteen. Twenty four. See Stephen, just had a look at the availability of the pink and where he would like to lose the cue ball on the black. To leave a nice angle. 25. So I would suggest he's either play for the pink in the middle to try and nudge reds out. If he's played for the black, he's not left, him, left himself the best angle to go into the reds. But we'll leave it to the Master break maker.
33. It's a pretty tight bunch. the immediate result though. Forty seven. Mm. Well there's one loose ready can play for, that's on the right hand side of the table, but I think that's what he's gonna play for. far enough for the red on the right hand side of the table so I don't know whether this plans his second prize or he always had a mind for it it can be made there's enough gap between the two reds and just drop it in it'd be on the black no oh yes Six. Seven reds, seven blacks. Fifty-seven. I'm sure this time he'll have to go into the moist. Have a look to see if there's another plant. <coughs> have a look. Well, there is a plant there. Yes, it's definitely a plant. You'd rather play it than take a chance can we into the the bunch <coughs> just run too far I can I'm now not happy he can still make this into a three ball plant as long as the first one the first red, it's the second red square on. The plant's still on. But he's got to it the second red square on, as it, like he would like to normally hit it with his, his tip of the cue. They're so close, he's got to it this just right. And he has done. Yeah. And the black's still on. And so is the 147. Seventy-two. Seventy-three. It's uh, one hundred and forty-seven thousand pounds for a maximum. Ten thousand pounds for the highest break. Hendry has made eight maximums in competition. 80. But he hasn't come ideally on his next red. No. He's on the red I think he played for, but just overdid it. But knowing he uh, Stephen Hendry as we do, I think he'll be going all out to try and stay on the black here. He already shares the high break with Ronnie O'Sullivan at hundreds of 140. For the black. So 
the maximum still on. That's a better shot to get on this red. And a nice angle on the black to stun off the top cushion for one of those three reds into the same pocket as the black. Won't get much better chance than this. It'd only like be six. bettered if the pink was on its spot. 97. Great champion in pursuit of another great moment. black than he would have liked. I don't know if he can hold in the middle of the table just to avoid the blue or depends how he sees it. He's missed the blue, the cue ball needs to slow up a touch, to slow up a touch. He's got the game, he's got the nerve, but the pink still looms up as a major obstacle. Yes, I think if the pink was on the spot, we would consider this as done, but it's a bit tricky. 129. He's got a nice angle on the blue, but it's all about trying to get on this pink at an angle to get on the black. The easier he can leave the pink, the better. One hundred thirty-four. Well, he's on the pink, but he's not on the angle to get comfortably on the black. I assume it's going to be the right middle, but he's going to have to play it with pace and come in and out of balk. Good shot needed. earns him £157,000. And let's not forget, it also gives him a 5-2 lead. That's the final part. It was onto the side jaw, but not far enough to miss it. A supreme moment of perfection that nobody in that arena will ever forget.
Three years later, he of course made it a hat-trick against Stuart Bingham, and it was rather appropriate that it came in his final year as a player at the Sports Spiritual Home, because he signed off in style, making it through to a 19th quarter-final. This was his third 147. Absolutely. Oh dear me. I'm with you, David. Stephen could really take a stranglehold here. Unexpected miss. It's so difficult, isn't it, when you've been sat in your chair, you haven't got the table time, and then you get the odd chance. And, and that's the thing about this game. You get the half chance, you have to try and make it into a full one. It's not easy. It's noticeable as well how much support he's getting you know 20 years ago for a lot of people it was a case of oh, not him again but uh, <laughs> since he hasn't been winning so much of late they've really got behind him there's been times where they've been booed hasn't he <laughs> when he's coming to the arena and now they're cheering him how things change eight Nine. Might go into them. <coughs> well, that just caught the edge. Sixteen. Again, wanted a, well, he caught the first <coughs> red, actually. I think he played the edge, the, the red at the edge of the pack. Could still take this red on to the left corner. Could hold for one of the bolt colours. And in that sort of mood that he wants to try and win every frame while he's at the table. Is he taking this to the middle? Oh, that's a great shot. Needs a big bounce, 17. though. <laughs> well, he's not backing away from this black. Yeah. It's there. Oh, hang on. Ooh. Well, he's got the red nearest the pink, which is fairly straight. That was an excellent black. Still needs another one, though, to continue. Don't be surprised if he knocks this in. The lines on the black once more. Not easy from there, though. Oh. <laughs> What's happening? Has he what? turned back the clock here? Well, I was wondering if someone had stuck a tape on from 20 years well, ago. Yeah, well, pff, I don't know. Has he been in the TARDIS or something? Come back, you know. Well, it went in, and he's in prime position. Well, he was always a very brave player, wasn't he? And he still is. Don't back away from anything. But, of course, you need the, the talent to be able to pop them as well, which is what he's got. That's four reds, four blacks, David. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Just thought I'd throw that one in the mix. I'm not sure I could handle it. <laughs> it it's blacks. And we don't know, the rule is normally 40 or 48. I mean, with Joe Johnson, it's the first red. <laughs> But well, it's, it's all blacks. Well, he's made two here. Two 147s. 1995. And uh, just three years ago as well. 14. Put it this way, he'll be going for it. It's one of the few lists he's not top of, 147 makers. Ronnie O'Sullivan's had 11. Stephen Hendry's had 10. Not be happy about that, then. Well, it's pretty, pretty obvious that he's come here with a purpose. 48. Well, Ken Doherty had a chance on the uh, opposite table. He made a 104, missed the 14th red. But I think this is a better chance because the reds are more in the middle of the table.
Well, the bonus prize, the rolling prize, is £40,000. The high break prize, £10,000. So it's £50,000 for a maximum. 57. We did have one in the qualifiers, Robert Milkins. But this is the place to do it. There have been nine made here in total. Ronnie O'Sullivan's had three. Stephen Hendry, two. It's hold your breath time, I think, here. Well, they're all in a great position as well. Okay, he's got the one slightly behind the black, but it's off the cushion. This is a wonderful chance. And the way he's been playing. Oh, I'm not 72. Take. Seventy-three. Well, he knows that the frame is safe. Now he can concentrate on the maximum. Eighty. Eighty-one. I just wonder whether they might just get rid of this <coughs> awkward one behind the black spot. 58. And when you consider that some of the balls he knocked in at the start of this 58. break could easily have lost the crowd, know of course what's happening. They'll all be nervous as well. But this man has nerves of steel. Well, he's okay here. <laughs> he can stun over for the black once more. Ninety-seven. Well, the black is second century of the match, but more importantly, the maximum is still on. This has been superb so far. Then twelve. Well, he's got the perfect angle on the black here to drop this in and get down towards that yellow. Yeah. Yeah. Well played. Well, who are these people that are writing him off then, David? Eh? This is incredible stuff. It is, that's the word, I think, incredible. He needs the six colours for his third crucible maximum. Just slightly stretching here on the yellow. This is very similar to the one Cliff Thorburn played, wasn't it, where he stunned it off the back cushion. Similar angle and at that time. The late uh, Bill Wibbenick was just peering around the corner. Well, he's got his little extension on. Players stopped on the other table. That's pretty much how Cliff played it as well. In 1983, the first Crucible 147. This could well be the 10th coming up. You just can't keep him down, can you? Well, we were wondering what we were going to see from Hendry today. I don't think anyone quite expected this. Brilliant stuff. 129. The crowd feel he's going to do it, but he's got to pop the last three balls.
134. Everyone nervous. How nervous is this man, though? Nice call. Well, what can you say? Well, it's this black for a third crucible maximum. And that's why he's the greatest. Stephen Hendry, just when you think you've seen it all, he produces another magical moment here at the Crucible. Incredible. Terrific pots he made at the start of the break and nerves of steel. He went on to make the maximum.